Welcome back to the Statesman Insider. Jimmy Smith here along with 1980-84 to 84 Statesman golfer Robert Panel here at the Hall of Fame Banquet Ceremonies. And first of all, congratulations on the honor. Is this the first time you've been back in some time? No, uh, I come back for golf uh, at least twice every summer, and uh, I come back a good bit. What's uh, how does this feel to get this this honor? I mean, obviously you, you spent those four years here, and and now that's kind of come into into fruition of being put in the Hall of Fame. How's that feel? Yeah, surprised I guess would be my word because I, I didn't I did not see this coming, and uh, I'm truly honored. But uh, yeah, I was very surprised when I got this call. What have you been up to lately? Well, I'm a State Farm insurance agent in Greenwood. I've got four children, ages 18 to 10, and uh, so I go to all kind of sporting events, work real hard, play golf still. Uh, my boys play golf, so uh, we, we stay busy. What's been kind of your uh, lasting legacy, lasting memory of Delta State, um, whether it was your time when you played or, or your time being back and forth here on campus? That's a tough question, but, uh, you know, I talked to one of my old teammates the other day named Bo Riles, and he's an infomercial specialist now, and you'll catch him on TV if you look at the right time. So uh, as I reflect back, um, just a lot of the good people that I've met, a lot of people that I've met tonight that I did not know, uh, and, you know, I don't know, it's a special place down here in this flat land, and, and uh, just coming back, it's nice. And I guess my last question for you is um, meeting everybody tonight and, and seeing all the years that are represented in the Hall of Fame and seeing people that have already been inducted or will be inducted. How does it feel to be part of something that special here at Delta State? It feels like that they accomplished a whole lot more than I did. When Give I yourself played. some credit. Uh, uh, D. Haynes is from Greenwood, and trust me, he, he was better at his sport than I was mine. But that being said, you know, I, I, I think maybe what I did in golf after I left Delta State probably had something to do. Uh, I've been involved with the Mississippi Golf Association and the Junior Golf Association. So, But uh, quite an honor, and uh, actually I was really shocked. Well, thank you for your time, and congratulations, Mr. Panel. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Robert Panel, 1980-84, standing by with Billy Hood. It's our very own Kobe Rich. Thank you, Jimmy. Standing here with me is Billy Hood, class of 75 graduate and former football player. Now, what does it feel like to get that phone call to let them know, they let you know that you're in the Hall of Fame? Well, it's quite an honor. You know, it's uh, quite a select group, and I was just really honored that after all these years that they finally remembered me. <laughs> now you were telling me you played with the dinosaurs and leather helmets uh, back in 71 through 75. Now, uh, what's your fondest memory of, of your time here at Delta State as a football player and as a student? Well, I think, you know, as a student, I've, I still see some of my instructors here today that uh, supported me, encouraged me, and, and provided me with opportunity to be successful. Um, Academically, I was as well prepared when I went to dental school at the University of Tennessee as anybody in my class. It was just a wonderful experience I had here. Go ahead. Well, what's your uh, favorite football moment? You know, I was thinking about that. I came here with my roommate from college when we were at Delta State, and we were, walk we were looking out to the uh, practice fields, and I guess my, the moments that I remember the most is when it's 112 degrees, and you're going out for two days for the second or third time of the day. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and you're thinking, can I really do this? You know, you think the game time would be your most astounding memories, but really the, it's those practices when you're out there with the guys really just blood and guts time that you remember the most. I've had those same uh, thoughts just standing on the sidelines in this heat here until getting used to that. But Nick, now you touched on your, your dental school. I, I kind of wanted to ask what you've been up to lately, but I guess obviously uh, in dentistry is, is correct. Yeah, I, I went to dental school at the University of Tennessee, and then I came back to the Delta. I practiced in Drew, Mississippi, married a girl from Drew, Mississippi. And actually, we lived for a time right across the golf course here in Cleveland, and I commuted back to Drew when and the kids were in school and they were young, and uh, eventually moved to Tupelo and a summer practice there. And so now I'm in uh, Oxford, Mississippi, and uh, enjoying life there and getting down to see the statesman every now and then and enjoying life at the time. Well, congratulations on Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Standing by with another Hall of Fame inductee, Dr. Mandy Lee, is our own Lori Beth Milton. Thank you, Kobe. Standing here with me today is Dr. Mandy Lee. She was a swimmer for the 1995 through 1999 season. Mandy, how does it feel to receive this honor today? Oh, I'm very, very honored to be here and to be back on the Delta State campus. It was a true honor. Um, how long has it been since you've been back? Does it feel good? feels great to be back on campus. It's been uh, about six years since I've been back. I came back once since I've graduated, but it's great to be back here. We want to know what your fondest memory of Delta State is. 
Uh, definitely the NCAA Woman of the Year banquet that uh, Coach Ronnie and uh, Kent Wyatt and I got to go to Indianapolis. Um, and on the campus, just all the sporting events, love to go to the football and the baseball games, so it's a lot of excitement. Um, tell us what you've been up to lately. Um, I'm a chiropractor in North Vancouver and uh, own a wellness center with a multidisciplinary wellness center and uh, teach fitness for fun.